The Small Tree High Productivity Initiative is a Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries led initiative working in collaboration with the University of Queensland and the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. The work is co-funded by Horticulture Innovation Australia Limited and the research partners. This ambitious research program involves a team of 35 scientists working towards transforming the efficiency and productivity of avocado, macadamia and mango orchards. The initiative has been inspired by productivity gains that have occurred in apple orchards. In apple, 30 to 40 years ago, yields in commercial orchards were around 10 to 15 tonnes per hectare. Now, in modern high density orchard systems, growers can expect between 60 to 100 tonnes per hectare. The project is seeking to achieve similar gains in the three target industries. Orchard productivity is related to four key components the vegetative vigour of the tree, how much light is captured and distributed through the tree canopies, the tree's structure and crop load. Having good tools to manage vigour is one of the reasons why apple high density orchard systems have been so successful. Identifying rootstocks that can limit vegetative growth and increase fruit or nut production is a key approach to lifting productivity. The team is also trialling a range of pruning and tree training methods to identify the most productive management practices. These include shaping canopies to central leaders, training to trellises and limb bending. In our subtropical and tropical tree crops we have a limited idea of what light levels we need in our orchard systems to make them as productive as possible. To gain a better understanding Light interception is being measured in trials at three different planting densities and in trees that have been managed under a number of pruning and training systems, with the aim of identifying combinations of tree spacing and canopy management with substantially improved light usage. While apple growers know what tree structure they need to optimise productivity and fruit quality, in avocado, macadamia and mango, there is still much to learn. We want to understand tree structure and architecture, what effect it has on how light moves through the orchard, the effect different tree structures have on the vigour of those trees, the effect tree structure has on how flowers are produced, how they're set and, and how fruit are set and retained. Crop load is influenced by factors such as flower initiation, fruit set and fruit retention. Crop load in turn influences yield, fruit size and quality and also a regular cropping from year to year. What we are really seeking to do is to see if we can understand how all of these aspects of crop load are interrelated and see if we can develop systems so that growers can manage crop load in their orchards. So we really need to understand all of these components on their own, but we also need to understand how they interact with each other within the orchard systems that we're looking at. To achieve this, Comprehensive planting system trials have been established for each crop. It is expected that the outcomes of these trials will help growers plan for more productive future plantings, as well as improving production in their existing orchards. Within the project we are also doing some more fundamental research to try and understand in greater depth our key orchard systems components and also how they interrelate with each other. Computer-based models are being developed for each crop to simulate growth under a range of environmental and management situations. These simulations help researchers select the best experimental options for testing in field trials, saving substantial time and cost. The latest molecular science is also being used to discover the processes underlying flower initiation and vegetative growth. The team has obtained data for all active genes in the genomes of each crop and based on this knowledge, further work is underway, which will greatly improve understanding of the complex plant mechanisms that currently limit yield. The knowledge being gained through this project has significant potential to change the orchard systems of the future for the avocado, macadamia and mango industries. Along the way, the project will also provide better information on pruning 
and crop load management for the benefit of existing orchards. To stay up to date with the project's progress and results, see your industry's magazine or website.